here's a little point that I think that needs to be made. So marijuana is illegal. Apparently it is illegal because it is dangerous. The problem I have with this and the discussion we need to have is right beside this is the fact that alcohol is legal. We must look at alcohol, which is legal because of the fact that it does so much more harm than marijuana can ever do. By that fact, we have to question marijuana being illegal. We have to question it if the reasoning is for our protection. And if it is not, then we still have to ask the question of why is this illegal when this much more dangerous substance is legal? What is the reasoning then? And I think if we ask that question, we'll get somewhere. Let, let's go back to this point about alcohol versus marijuana and it being more dangerous. We all know it, but for those of you who may have heard the propaganda about how marijuana causes schizophrenia and the idea of the 1970s marijuana freakout idea, that's not quite true. But let's look at alcohol first. It causes crippling addiction, which can last your whole lifetime potentially. You can start drinking in your early 20s and you're hooked. And that's that. Addiction is crippling in this case, where it destroys your life. A downward spiral where you need to drink more. You are inebriated all the time. Thus, you cannot perform your job. Thus, you might lose your wife, your husband, whatever, your house. Doesn't matter. All of that can go down because you need more booze. And when you're on the booze, you can't do anything because you're drunk. Let's take that against marijuana for a moment, shall we? You're, you're getting high, okay? You eat more food. You think dumb ideas are pretty cool sometimes. And you get lost in your thoughts a lot. And maybe you're not as productive as you should be. Let's even say you are addicted to it somehow. Let's say this happens. Or you get to where you need it. Still, when you are high, you are incredibly more functional than you are when you are pissed drunk. This is just a fact. So let's say you're high all the time. That is automatically still better than being drunk all the time. Let's talk about relationships people have and the effect of addiction or heavy consumption even. Wherein you have the alcoholic who is, let's be honest, unpredictable when drunk. Especially if they're a miserable drunk. They can become quite violent. Spousal abuse? How many times is alcohol associated with that? It, it's a cultural meme. The drunk husband beats his wife. Everyone knows it. And there's a reason for that. Like, when we take drunk driving, when you are drunk, first off, your judgment is incredibly impaired. Your ability to make sound decisions versus instinctual reactions is compromised. Your reflexes become terrible. In fact, it is within drinking one beer or one glass of wine or a single shot that the actual judgment and motor impairment, which is the other big thing, the motor impairment kicks in within one drink, if you will. Maybe at that point you can still drive. But the other problem is the artificial confidence that comes from booze. This fact that you're going to make, if you're drunk enough, stupid decisions based on the fact that you think you can get through it. Liquor has a strong effect, or any alcohol, but liquor especially because of how drunk you get, has a strong effect on your ability to realize your own danger. Now contrast all of that with marijuana. Your reaction speed is slow. This is part of why I say you argue that you are inebriated to the point where you cannot drive. However, the difference between the two is pretty dramatic between the impairment levels. One has you driving the wrong way. You can be driving opposite to traffic and think you're doing alright because you're drunk. The other one you're driving about 35 and a 55 because you're not sure what's going on, man. But levity aside, it's really kind of a serious issue where we have alcohol, which causes untold amounts of death and destruction when we think about it, especially combined with cars, with marijuana, which actually, quite honestly, makes people want to stay home when they're high. They probably don't want to go places. They're too busy eating their chips and watching the TV. So let's go down a little checklist here, shall we? Spousal abuse, alcohol the winner, impaired driving, alcohol, general health damage, alcohol, potential for addiction, Alcohol, last but certainly not least, cost to the law enforcement for arrest. One of these is much more violent than the other. Quite often, if you will watch any media where they show arrests and the person is severely drunk, they are very often at least obstinate, if not violent. 
you can say this is a generalization, but alcohol often does make people violent. And there's another one on that checklist I was making. General violence in total. Alcohol wins. We have marijuana as an illegal drug for our safety, or so it is insisted. Now we have alcohol as a legal drug for responsible recreational use. It's not medicinal, that's for sure. You don't go to your ABC store or liquor store to buy it because you have a cold. Well, you might, but that is not its prescribed use. But it's used for fun, for recreational fun. And I'm not actually arguing against using alcohol. What I am saying is that when we have alcohol as a legal drug for our use responsibly, why can't we actually have marijuana as the same thing? Age restricted if you wish, if that you know makes you feel more comfortable, and in fact I agree it should at least be 18. But the big issue is why can't we just regulate it? The harm is less from marijuana than it is from alcohol. The harm to everything, not just the person using it, but society. Why can't we just have it? marijuana sold by a store, you know, a WBC, a weed beverage control, I don't know. Give it an acronym. Put it next to another store, like the ABC store. Government regulate it, tax it, control it. You can even say, like, if people buy too much at once, you can even have a little checklist. They get brochures and go to a program for maybe rehabilitation if they're addicted. We should do that for alcohol, too, by the way, but that's another issue. So quite simply put, for your all's consideration, is the idea that if we can use a substance so potentially destructive as alcohol in a safe and fun manner, I dare say we can use marijuana in the exact same way. Just something to think about.